according to the given question, here we have to plot a line weaver Burke graph using inverse values of S as well as our VO. So on Y axis, it is taken as 1 over V. So that is our Y axis. And on X axis, it's basically 1 over S, which is X axis where y intercept is equals to 1 over v max and at the x intercept is equals to negative 1 over km so we have the arachidonic acid the pgg2 formation we have also the pgg2 formation with 10 mg per ml ibuprofen so basically here we can see the result of the pgg2 formation and also the graph so we have the linear, we have the 1 over VO with ibuprofen. And from the line waiver work plot, we can observe that this is an example of competitive inhibition where in presence of inhibitor, so there is no change in the Vmax or the maximum velocity of enzyme, but the KM value is increases, which represent a competitive inhibition and the inhibitors serve as the competitive inhibitor for the substrate prostaglandins, which are competing for binding with the active site with the substrate because the inhibitor have a similar geometrical shape that are able to bind to the active site of the enzyme.